Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about interprets and explains the grouping, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, or Jim Das rule. What is Jim Das rule? G stands for grouping, E for exponent, M for multiplication, D for division, a for addition, and S for subtraction. So, how to evaluate an expression using Jim Das rule? Step 1. Solve a number or expression inside the grouping symbol. These are the grouping symbols. We have parentheses, brace, and bracket. Step 2. Evaluate a number having an exponent. Step 3. Operate multiplication or division from left to right. So, this means that multiplication and division can be interchanged. It depends upon what operation comes first from left to right. Step 4. Operate addition or subtraction from left to right. Also, addition and subtraction can be interchanged. It depends upon what operation comes first from left to right. To understand the GEMDAS rule, let's study the following examples. Evaluate the expression. When we say expression, it is a set of terms combined using the operations addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or grouping symbols. Our first example, 7 plus 5 squared minus 8 times 6 divided by open parenthesis 5 plus 7 close parenthesis. So to solve this expression, first is we're going to solve a number or expression inside the grouping symbol. So we have here the grouping symbol and we're going to add 5 and 7. So we're going to bring down 7 plus 5 squared minus 8 times 6 divide. So 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. What is our next step? Yes, we're going to evaluate a number having an exponent. So, we're going to evaluate 5 squared. 5 squared means 5 times 5. So, just bring down first 7 plus 5 times 5 is equal to 25. Then bring down minus 8 times 6 divide 12. So, what is our third step? Okay, the third step is we're going to operate multiplication or division. So, let's look at the remaining expression. 7 plus 25 minus 8 times 6 divided by 12. So, here, multiplication comes first before division. So, let's multiply. Just bring down for 7 plus 25, then minus. 8 times 6 is equal to 48 divided by 12. Next is we're going to divide. Just bring down first 7 plus 25 minus. 48 divided by 12 is equal to 4. Next step is we're going to operate addition or subtraction from left to right. So here, addition comes first before subtraction. So let's add 7 plus 25 is equal to 32, then just copy minus 4. Lastly, let's subtract 32 minus 4 is equal to 28. Next example, 100 divided by Open parenthesis 8 plus 12 close parenthesis times 3 squared minus 9. 
So here, first is we're going to solve a number or expression inside the grouping symbol. So we have here 8 plus 12. Bring down first 100, divide. 8 plus 12 is equal to 20. Just bring down times 3 squared minus 9. Next is we're going to evaluate a number having an exponent. So 3 squared. So just bring down first 100 divided by 20 times. 3 times 3 is equal to 9 minus 9. Next is we're going to operate multiplication or division. So here in our remaining expression, division comes first before multiplication. So let's divide. 100 divided by 20 is equal to 5. Then just bring down times 9 minus 9. Next is we're going to multiply. 5 times 9 is equal to 45 minus 9. Lastly, let's subtract. 45 minus 9 is equal to 36. And this is our final answer. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.